scriptures talk about a blessedness that happens to a man whose delight is in the law of God. So as someone says, it says, but his delight is in the law of God. And doth he meditate day and night. He says that that man is like a tree planted by the rivers of water, whose leaves do not wither, when he bears fruit in every season. As you are about listening to this message, we believe that your life is going to be like that man planted by the rivers of water. Your leaves are forever going to bear. And we know that your, your season will not pass by. You will forever shine and you will forever bear fruit. We have a lot of content to share with you. So we would entreat you to subscribe to this channel as well as like us. Hit that notification bell to receive more updates from us because we know that whatever content here is going to set you on calls at every time. It's going to make you attain whatever stature that Christ wants you to attain. Thank you. Jesus, we bless you. Jesus, we acknowledge you as a doer of all things working by your spirit you only use men but it never comes from men we acknowledge you before the entire world and we declare that you are the wisdom behind the results that we command you are the lord of the outcomes you are the lord of every good thing we celebrate in this ministry. So Lord, we thank you. In Jesus' name, hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Now, we are to start a series on the Holy Spirit, but that will be next week. I, in the course of the week, I had a very serious burden. We are still going to be on the series, but we just shifted one week. And um, I think that... There is a lot we need to learn about the ministry of the Holy Spirit, the person of the Holy Spirit, and how to walk in the anointing. It's not enough to just have the Spirit of God. We must know how to be demonstrators of that power. But God had put something very strong in my heart, and um, I trust God that will be as brief as possible tonight so that we can pray. Um, for me when it came it was very very serious and I think that is worth considering we're going to be praying I'm teaching tonight on dominion over curses dominion over curses dominion over curses Dominion over curses. Any aspect of the kingdom life that you do not have sufficient understanding of, please listen carefully. You will always experience the reign of darkness in that area. The Bible calls part of the cadres of the demonic kingdom. There is a class of spirits called the rulers of darkness. That means their dominion is on the strength of the absence of light or an inaccurate understanding on how to apply that light. You know, misunderstanding and ignorance are the same thing in the realm of the spirit one who is a possessor of light but cannot apply it adequately and one who is barren of that light both of them are destined to have the same outcome so it's not enough to be possessors of light we must also be possessors of understanding the system in the kingdom by which we apply this truth you will be learning a lot this night and i trust that god will open our eyes in the name of jesus in the course of this very brief teaching tonight, God is going to be opening our eyes 
and we're going to be seeing a lot of things as it concerns our lives our families our destinies but much more than the knowledge God will hand to us the keys that will not only help us to rise above it but help the people in our families to rise above it praise the Lord if I look at the baby that Shalhoma is holding and I call that baby an adult I can argue based on whatever scientific fact I can choose to even say she's not holding a baby whether I decide based on my perception to assume she's not holding a baby or not the truth remains the truth are you getting what I'm saying the Bible says for we can do nothing against the truth but for the truth there are certain realities as far as our work with God and our work in the kingdom is concerned that if we do not pay attention to and sustain the grace to be able to bring those things under the feet of Jesus we will live absolutely defeated lives and one of it is what I'm going to be teaching you tonight dominion over curses lamentations chapter 5 verse 7 very interesting scripture please give us that scripture lamentations chapter 5 verse 7 I want us to read it as loud and clear if you are a child of God ready one to read one more time stop what does it mean and they are not they are what that means they have left the scene something started with them and their presence departed from the scene but whatever that something is the bible says and we have done what the word born there is the word inherited our fathers have seen and are not it was only fair that whatever trouble will go with them but the bible says we have borne their iniquity i hope you know the bible says all scripture was inspired of the holy ghost holy men wrote right as they were moved by the spirit the second scripture i want us to look at is proverbs 26 verse 2 and then we'll begin to establish a few things Proverbs 26 verse 2 I want us to read one to read as the bird by wandering as the swallow by flying read please so the cause causeless <sighs> look, look at this. This, this I'm already laughing because I don't know how many of you went to school but I think that this was written in basic English so the cause causeless shall not come in other words if it comes there is a cause the condition for it not being there is that nothing caused it that means the presence of any kind of predicament is a sign that it was intentionally initiated the bible says there is a law and this is the law that the a cause causeless shall not come it didn't say shall not stand it will never even manifest in the first place so the fact that it was able to appear in the scene of your destiny regardless of what caused it this law was properly obeyed for it to find expression it says a cause causeless shall not stand it shall not come there are so many believers who do not understand the laws of the kingdom and the systems of God like we have been discussing here. This is part of accessing spiritual intelligence. And um, we confess so many things we do not understand in the body of Christ and we are largely victims 
of situations and circumstances there are so many people who do not even believe that there is such a phenomenon in the dealings of men in the earth called a system where men can experience what the bible calls a cause the word sounds insulting the word sounds antichrist the word sounds degrading but it's interesting to know that the first person who used it in the Bible was God. <laughs> the first person to reveal to us that there is a possibility that a man's life can be programmed to experience woes was not even Satan. It was God. Almighty. Now think about this. God himself is using something. Are we believers? Ah, look at you looking at me as if you left your Bible one year ago. Is it not in your Bible? When man fell, the Bible says, and the Lord God had the voice. I mean, and they had the voice of the Lord walking in the cool of the day, correct? And he came and said, Adam, where art thou? And Adam said, I heard thy voice, but I hid because I was naked. He said, who told you you were naked? Then he said, the woman. This madam you have kept close to me did this and that and that and because of her I got into trouble. Woman, what is this that you have done? She said the serpent. And he turned to the serpent and the Bible clearly, clearly tells us number one, the serpent was cursed. That he would crawl on his belly and he shall feed upon the dust of the earth. Correct? Correct? Then God turned to the woman and made another pronouncement of pain in childbirth. Then God turned to the earth, innocent earth, and said, Cursed are you for the sake of the man. Thorns and thistles shall begin to come out and in the sweat of thy brow. That's the mystery of hardship. God, using that same statement, the second experience was with a man called Cain. When Cain killed his brother, and then God called on Cain, where is your brother? I said, am I my brother's keeper? And God said that the blood of the brother cried from the earth. And then he cursed Cain. Correct? And when he listed those curses, a fugitive and a vagabond shall you be? And Cain turned and even negotiated. Remember in one of our teachings we explained that. And he said, no, 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 no. Whoever sees me, whoever sees me, whether he has no business killing me or not, something upon me will force him to want to kill me. And God said, all right, I will put a mark. Without that mark, anyone can kill you. So it's not about who kills. It's about what is making them want to kill you. Listen carefully. Please follow me tonight. You are going to learn a lot. A cause causeless shall not stand it's like saying every time you see water in this bottle it was intentionally put it cannot just appear write this down what is a cause ah looked around and suddenly realized that you've been so good to me Your mercy is everlasting, undenying, overwhelming. Who am I that you are mindful of? Who am I that you hear my cry when I call you? Who am I that you are mindful of? Yeah. Who am I? You're the source of my strength, not you. The strength of my life, not you. My hope and my joy, not you. My confidence, not you. You're the source of my strength, not you. The strength of my life, are you? My hope and my joy, are you? 
my confidence the operation of a course cannot be studied intellectually you must be able to study from the standpoint of the realm of the spirit a course is a mystery the second thing I want you to know about a course is that a course is a spiritual force a course listen carefully is a spiritual force a cause is a spiritual force. Are we together? Number three, a cause has magnetic characteristics. Like you talk in magnetism, an attracting power. It can attract certain things to its victim. I'm taking out time to help you understand this. Let's take it very carefully tonight. A cause is a mystery. A cause is a spiritual force. Then a cause is magnetic. It has an attracting power. Number four. A cause is always negative in its manifestation. A cause is always negative. In its manifestation there's no such thing as positive cause no what is a cause a cause is an invocation a cause is an invocation comma a programming a cause is an invocation a programming that is designed to attract woes and calamities to the life of its victim a cause is a what an invocation a programming that is designed to attract woes and calamities pay attention and listen carefully in the life of its victim it always has negative effects on the life of its victim a cause can be made manifest in the life of a person through utterances let's be very fast utterances and pronouncements utterances and pronouncements the bible did not leave us in the dark as to the fact that utterances and pronouncements have prophetic implications whether from the positive dimension or the negative dimension every time an utterance is made the Bible tells us it has an effect that is supported from the realm of the spirit. That every time I open my mouth to utter an utterance, the Bible tells us whether it was done in ignorance or it was done intelligently, that there is a support system in the realm of the spirit that helps to back the outcome of that pronouncement. So the Bible says, say not before an angel, I made a mistake. Causes can find expression through written words. This is largely seen in 
not much of this is understood in Christianity. But when you study world religions, you find out that there are many religions that um, work like a legal system. They have from slates to books to mantras to manuals and all kinds of things. And all of these gadgets and these documents are a system. And whenever they are invoked in a certain dimension and a manner, they have capacity to program wars upon the life of the people. These are the basic ways that the Bible reveals to us that a cause can be communicated to an individual. Now, very quickly, what is the character of a cause? I'm being very, I'm, I'm talking tonight like a lecturer because I want us to pray and I really want everybody to understand this. It is easy to know that a territory, listen carefully, maybe let me change the word and call it a siege. Let me change the word and call it woes so that it will psychologically relate to you. But the name is a cause. If I change the name, it's only for your comfort, not to change the reality. It is called a cause. Are we together? Our idea of a cause is someone who offends you, then you make a pronouncement in anger and it brings a cause. No, no. It is that idea that makes us feel guilty. Say, no, 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 I didn't offend anybody. No. In this world, once you are alive, you have to find out what happened before you. Because you can be a victim of a story that predates your existence. Are we together now? It is easy to know that a personality, a family, a territory is under a cause. The first indication of the presence of a cause in a life and a family is patterns repetition of negative patterns that seem to veto the individual's prayer life that seem to veto the individual's supposed spiritual activities please pay attention patterns patterns the classic indication of courses and blessings in the bible is patterns patterns the same way the same way you can know that a man, a place, an individual is blessed. There is a track record of frequent happenings regardless of the condition. Are we together? Yeah. So we look at the life of Abraham, Isaac, Jacob, the Israel of God, and we see a pattern. Everyone who spoke against them was judged by God. There was something upon them. Every time they violated his dictates, they were given to their enemies. It was a pattern. Patterns are very common in the lives of people. Now, we just pretend that they are not there. You see, let me tell you something. One of the major reasons why people do not rise in power and faith, listen carefully, is because of insincerity. When you want to approach spiritual things, you must be open-hearted and sincere. Are we together? Your heart must be broken and contrite. This pattern ranges from all kinds and it happens everywhere. There are patterns as far as finances are concerned. There are patterns as far as family lives are concerned. You turn and look around the average family in Africa and you will know that there are patterns now pay attention and follow me to the end of the lecture don't be quick to just say no 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 but it doesn't exist i think i did something about it a cause causeless if it still remains the cause is there a cause causeless a cause causeless if i have a boil in my hand and i go to doctor if i come to you and i have a boil in my hand you will tell me that this boil is a reaction it's an effect of something is that true the boil is showing that something is wrong so the cause is not the failure the failure is a message 
the patterns are a message they are not the cause the cause is spiritual the cause is an atmosphere it's like a cloud it's like a mantle that an individual can carry has capacity to break barriers has capacity to follow you it can pursue a man it can overtake a man the bible personifies a cause in deuteronomy 28 you see that he spoke to them a list of blessings and then causes he said it will pursue you and overtake you travel to london travel to uk travel to your village go to school marry be wherever it can follow you it has that capacity that limitless ability a quality only given to spiritual things a cause is not failure a cause is not barrenness a cause is not retrogression all those things are messages they are symbols that signify the presence of such an atmosphere upon a man hallelujah are we blessed Joshua chapter 7. Let's look at it very quickly. Something interesting happened there. We'll read verse 1, then we'll jump to verse 10 to 12. Joshua chapter 7, verse 1, and then we'll jump to verse 10 to 12. But the children of Israel committed a trespass in the accursed thing. For Achan, the son of Kami, the son of Zabdi, the son of Zerah, of the tribe of Judah, took of what? And the anger of the Lord was kindled against who who carried something god was angry against help me now I, I, there's a revelation i want to show you who participated in the loot help me did they loot as a congregation did he consult them to loot the bible says he smuggled an item that he was prohibited to carry correct and then what happened the anger of the lord was kindled against who verse 10 and the Lord said unto Joshua, Get thee up. Wherefore liest thou toss upon thy face? Because they were defeated. A small city defeated them. And Joshua went to God. Israel had who sinned? It never said Achan had sinned. We're well, Bible students. He never said Achan had sinned. He said Israel had sinned. And they have transgressed my covenant which I commanded them for they have even they, 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 they have even taken of their costing and have also stolen and dissembled also and they have put it even among their own stuff verse 12 therefore the children of Israel could not stand before their enemies but turned their backs before their enemies why? they started by taking something accost and in verse 12 they themselves were one man whose eyes saw something and he said no i can't let this thing go like that and he smuggled it quietly and put it in his pocket and god was watching and god said israel you have seen and all of them think of the innocent people that died in the war they were all preparing Oh, God will give us, I mean, if God gave us Jericho, what is AI? A small town. And in their midst, someone smuggled an item. And all of a sudden, they went to battlefield. Imagine them moving warriors. And they were utterly defeated. And Joshua, the embarrassment was too much. And he went back to God crying. And God said, stand up, please. This is not the issue of prayer. You need to understand. I need to give you understanding. Don't just lie down crying for nothing. He said, Israel has sinned. They took something and by this time, he said, they themselves were a cause. He said, neither will I be with you anymore except he destroy the accursed from among you. The accursed was no longer a thing but a person. A cause is real. I wish they were not. I would have just told you I was joking. Let's be serious now. A cause is real. Don't you see them in your family? I know you act like they are not there. Don't you see them around? Listen carefully. Don't you see them in the life of pastors? 
Don't you see them in the life of apostles, prophets, great people? A cause does not mean you are a sinner. Write it down. You have to get this. A sinner like one possessing the name. Listen, listen. I want to teach you something. Just pay attention. Whatever you don't understand, just keep following. A cause is not necessarily a symbol that an individual personally sinned against God. There are many families, there are many individuals carrying things in their lives that they can laugh around and pretend in church that this thing does not exist, it doesn't happen. But we are watching with our eyes. Remember the Bible says a cause causeless shall not come. Meaning if it comes, don't just probe the effect. What is the cause? Back to my boil example. So I have a boil and my hand is swollen. And I run to the doctor and say, doctor help me. And the doctor looks at it and smiles. And says, ah, your white blood cells are fighting something. Are we together now? They are fighting something or um, what they call this thing, fever sign. Ah, Pastor JT, good to see you. I didn't realize it was him. Hallelujah. And then fever sign. And then he tells me that that fever sign is a sign that there's war somewhere. When others are feeling cold, you are feeling hot. Correct? You try to stand in the sun, you start feeling cold again. You don't know what is wrong with you. That reaction is a sign that a war is going on somewhere. Whoever wins, you will soon know. If you don't recover, it's a sign you are not winning. And that means you must seek assistance. And the doctor will say, okay, I need to introduce something in your life. And then he introduces something. And all of a sudden, things start changing. And you cannot enter your body to know whether you are winning. So you use the absence of that evidence as a sign that you are recovering. All of a sudden, listen, a boil that refused to go. You put rub. It refused to go. You put local herbs. Are we together? Palm oil. It refused to go. Immediately you know something is wrong. This is not. Sometimes it can even mock you and go and come out or come out somewhere else. The boy is saying, it doesn't matter where I come out. I can come out anywhere for as long as what is causing it is still there. But when the doctor explains to you, the issue is not the boil. The issue is salive. Sometimes he will not even ask you to bust it. He introduces something to your system. Then a boil, causeless, starts drying. You watch it dry and it disappears and within a week, you never believe anything is there then you now confirm by the absence of that thing that it is gone so don't sit down and tell me no boil is swelling we are all watching it grow you say no boil we are seeing it we are not stupid a cause causeless shall not stand you may not appreciate this because somebody is paying your bills now you may not appreciate this because no matter how careless you are you don't sow but somebody's harvest is paying for you so you are thinking you are the one sowing a day will come you will be exposed to a reality where you will now see that your life is dependent on the outcome of your understanding there are patterns that should not happen to believers if they are happening something should be dealt with it should not be ignored it should be understood and dealt with brothers and sisters hear me i tell you the truth by the authority of the lord jesus christ causes are real yes they are yes they are there are families today that all the men in that family never move forward they never rise they never become anything Ejimi, the men do not have to be irresponsible. They are sincere people. Very sincere people. There are families where every month per year, somebody must die. Regardless of how sincere they are. Loving people. It can even be after a church service. On their way back, they die. After a prayer meeting, rattling in tongues for hours, you can't say they don't love God. 
there are families if a man looks at you and says i love you even that man what will happen to him that night he will never repeat that statement again now he doesn't know why you too you don't know why you think the issue is okay am i too fat let me be on a diet no you are trying to rub palm oil on our boil remember our story I know many hard-working men hey, Jimmy, they have been working in their 20s sincere godly people till today they are begging there are people who start building 20 years it has not reached the level no brothers and sisters we are intelligent how many graduates you see in a family seven graduates the only employed person in that family is a driver are they so stupid they are not lazy they will tell you they are not lazy most times we think it's because they are unserious and people erroneously say just forget it's just that they are not hard working please be careful some of you as you are sitting now if you are to be sincere you know things are not all right there are families when you give birth to people things happen there are pastors a jimmy they refuse to deal with these things and they get into ministry anointed remember my story born again filled with the holy spirit working miracles but still oppressed by demons i went to people quietly and i said what is wrong they said don't don't worry man let me tell you i don't think there are few people here that quote scriptures more than me the demons didn't respect it shocking call the name of jesus nothing happened how do you call the name of jesus on a crusade ground and somebody is walking out of a crutch and you call it for your life and nothing happens i knew i needed to understand something your victory starts when you are humble when you have you say no 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 there has to be a puzzle to this equation it can be god mysterious sicknesses there are people today carrying hepatitis a b and whatever is they don't have when you go to the hospital and say i have hepatitis they ask you who had it in your family even genetics support the reality of transgenerational transference there is such a possibility the fact that you look like your father should teach you something about the realm of the spirit the fact that you look like your mother and your born again did not change your facial appearance is a spiritual reality something listen something should tell you that this thing is real now, you better trust the holy spirit all of us men of god are not older than you by more than 20 30 years the holy spirit is an ancient spirit is god's own spirit he was there when this thing started hallelujah a curse causeless shall not stand I have watched sincere people, a Jimmy, bound sincerely. There are pastors today as anointed as whatever. You look at them, you think it's the Holy Spirit. No growth, no increase. And it's not only ministry, it's a pattern. Anointed, born again, nothing happens. No growth, no increase. How many people have they thrown away? from they went to us just when they went they went with complete papers as soon as they were vetting people one got missing and you know that they did we hear said look let me explain to you my papers were complete they said come and explain to your embassy in nigeria and they drive them down what of all these devilish things that fly around people's body fibroid lump HIV, cancer. See it killing men now. Once a man is 45 years old, he starts getting afraid. Ask the doctors, they will tell you. Prostrate cancer. Once people start getting to 45, 46, they are now, they are now afraid because of cancer. Once a lady is approaching 28, 29, even doctors start saying marry fast too because any moment from now, and every stranger will start growing. So once you are 30 and you are not married, 
they will tell you, look, there's no room to hearing God. Just hurry up and get all your children fast. How many do you plan to have? Five. You need at least ten years. Hurry up and catch up. It's nonsense. The devil is a liar this night. Patterns. How about barrenness? A trace of it. How about fruitfulness? But that not productive. You give birth to ten children. All of them are useless. There are patterns the ladies must get pregnant out of wedlock before the wedding. Now, they are innocent and the condition that leads to the pregnancy is the same thing that happened to someone else. They don't know themselves. But it happened. I have counseled people like that. Brothers and sisters, there is such a thing as that. And tonight, God wants to show us that there is a system in the kingdom where people can have dominion. It is not just about what Christ has done. It is that we can be alienated from the life of God through the ignorance that is in our heart. We have claimed things that we don't know anything about. Let me tell you something about ministry in Zaria that you do not know. I think it was you, Sam, I was talking to. Minis the lifespan of successful ministry in Zaria is three years. You are a ministry in Zaria. If you survive three years, you know the mystery of continuity. After three years, something must arise attempting to rubbish your life. A scandal. Are we together? One kind of failure. Something will just evolve out of nowhere. There are so many people, especially music artists, They've risen from Zaria. Men of God risen from Zaria. But you don't know where they are today. You see a musician just appears. And for six months he's been invited everywhere. And after that you just go still. Next. We are waiting for the next person. <laughs> yeah. There is a level the devil pegs men. And pegs their destiny. You never rise beyond a level. There are families... Is defined for as long as you oscillate within that ambient of relevance is okay but try to cross it that line will draw you back and say are you blind don't you see that there's a long line are we together men don't live beyond certain times the moment you are 35 death comes see I saw this pattern in my own extended family the only person in my father's family that is alive now is him and one of his sisters. I've shared it with you. Very sincere people. None of them died a good death. Mysterious sicknesses that will rubbish your life and none of them ever rose to certain levels. Some of your fathers are like that. They started working from 22. As it is now, if you send them 5,000, they will kneel down and say thank you. It's a cause. It's a cause. Some of you are in school as students, but they are calling you from home. Anything for this month, you say, mommy, just take it easy. We keep laughing and say there is nothing wrong. See, let me tell you. You don't deal with it, you marry, it follows you there. You don't deal with it, you... Because... As you are married, once you are standing with your necktie, two of you are bringing everything you represent and you move into the house. Do you know this is why people erroneously call people witches and wizards? It is because they are open to the prophetic, but because they do not have the accurate understanding of the word of God, they see the spirit that is behind that activity and mistaking it for the individual carrying it out. So they say, no, 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 no. And truly what they are saying is not a lie. They say your trouble started from the day this lady, one lady come. All of a sudden, you said you marry her, you now got married. You were a millionaire. In five months, five months, you are looking for 10,000 to buy a new shoe. Mysterious things happen. Your first car got missing. The second car, police police caught it the third car is somewhere else your truck capsided like that the driver slept off listen and your life is reduced back and then you now go to a man of god i'm not i'm not talking against men of god you know i love the body of christ but you go somewhere and then the man genuine man of god 
now looks and says, Ah, who did you marry? Tosi. <laughs> Thank God you are even still alive. It is just an example, darling. Just an example. Are we together now? Give me your hand now. Run away from me. You want to deny me now, Tosi. Be nice to me. Be a nice wife. Are we together? And then the man, you see, men will consult quietly. They won't announce in public. Is the anger you see publicly. The man now returns home. Good evening, darling or honey. Say, see, let me tell you. I am throwing everything out of my life that is causing me failure. He stops eating your food because he believes that eating your food is why he's now having high blood pressure. And this lady is sincere. She loves God. Are we together now? And they cannot. Un why will you call such a nice woman a witch? She may not be a witch, but she's connected to something that is causing that effect. Plus, the one you are now bringing. We have not even talked about the one on the man. Hybrids of different formulas that are as a result of different spiritual things. And you find out that things don't work in people's lives. That's why in certain villages, they even apportion certain regions and tell you they are what? Cost. It doesn't happen in your village. Where they isolate a group of people and say these people, whoever marries, will either die or something. And sincerely speaking, you go and marry out of bold face and say love is love. Love is blind. And Jimmy said marriage will open your eyes. You now go and get married and find out that after the marriage two weeks after the marriage you are not hearing again one month after the marriage you can't walk again you see that tell me why a man who has been working in the civil service for 30 years should not have up to 1 million in his account how many children grew up with him two children he's still poor there are families win lottery get anything they will still be poor it has nothing to do with money it's a system listen the system of causes outlive those who cost it it can outlive it the primary purpose of a cause is to create a system for transgenerational allegiance transgenerational allegiance allegiance to deities ultimately an allegiance to satan a system to create transgenerational allegiance. Our grandmothers and great grandmothers. You hear of one woman. Giving birth to 14 children. Never went to a hospital. No CS. Out of those 14 children. One was a set of twins. One was a set of triplets. And truly she gave birth to them. In the midst of fire. And you still see her, a mother of 13 children, standing, her stomach is as straight as an arrow. No fibroid, no nothing. Why? Because before the delivery, there is a priest who asks the God and says, remember, just like we agreed, we have been serving you, half of our guinea corn is hanging on the tree in respect to your demands. So, whatever, look upon that guinea corn and that goat that disappeared and please this woman. Now, all of a sudden, missionaries had passion but no intelligence. They came to Africa. Now, we love the missionaries, but don't forget that they were very limited. People say they died of malaria. Are, are, you, are you, with what you know now, was it malaria that really killed them? They didn't die of malaria. Malaria was the servant, like a tray that carried that charm. You just come in and all of a sudden you organize a crusade and say, stop worshipping this deity. 300 years old of worship and allegiance. You have the gods to bring the head, bring everything, burn it. <laughs> and an old woman is just looking at you and pitying you. Jesus saves. Jesus heals. They leave you quietly because they know that ignorance can alienate a man from the life of God. And the moment you finish, first you die. All the followers die. The remaining return. And they say, look, this thing does not work. If I didn't know this, I would have been a failure all my life.
Are we together? I have seen this thing happen. With all humility, I don't know how many of my extended people, especially from my paternal side, that I can look and say, this person is successful today. No. No. Causes can come directly from God. <laughs> directly from God. This is not the cause of the law. The cause of the law is not the, all the cause there is in the Bible. Directly from God. Number two, causes can be transgenerational. Products of ancestry. What we call ancestral causes. There is such a thing as ancestral causes. There is such a thing. Number three, self-inflicted causes. Self-inflicted causes. There are programmings that can come upon the lives of people, which is a product of self-infliction. The cause that we call the cause from God is what I also call a sinner's cause. Every sinner is under a cause. Everyone who has not acknowledged Jesus Christ, please hear me carefully, as his Lord and Savior, believe it or not, you are under a cause. You are under a cause. What is the cause? The dominion of evil perpetually remains above you is a cause the moment you are not in christ you qualify for the very cause that is upon creation that from dust thou art and to dust thou shall return that tons and thistles shall come upon your ground and with the the sweat of your brow shall you feed there is a cause that is upon creation it cannot be taken away you can only be exempted from it Hear me please. That is the reason why the old earth will be purged. There is a reason why fire will purge this earth. There is a reality that is hanging upon this earth right now. Individuals born by default. In sin did my mother conceive me, he says. And you are a victim of it. Mortality is a cause that came with creation. There is such a possibility that a man can extend his life. You can access the reality of God's life. Failure, the cause. If you are not in Christ, listen, you are not in Christ, you qualify for the sinner's cause. It's not something bad. It's not even about what you did. It's a reality. God's own pronouncement upon creation as a result of men alienating his ways. And then I said number two, ancestral causes. Ancestral causes are products of violating the terms and agreements. Products of violating the terms and agreements that constituted the basis for mutual relationship between men and deities. There was such a provision in Africa as a continent where men fraternize with deities you see that in ancient Babylon you see that in Egypt the sun god Ra alongside thousands of other gods there was a very intelligent spiritual system of fraternity with them an agreement a covenant causes operate on legal grounds they don't operate by mistake they operate on legal grounds. There is a legal system in the kingdom. And don't forget righteousness and justice are the foundations of his throne. A system that God is obliged to honor. Who can stand against the Lord? No one can. 
no one will. That's the liberty he's bringing to you tonight. Who can stand against my king? No one can. No one will. Oh. When you walk out of this, many of you will begin to see things change in your life in remarkable ways. Remarkable ways. Your prayer life will be so reduced to only worship because you will search around and see that there are no issues of concern again. There is such a possibility that a man can sit down, bless on the left and on the right, an effulgence of Zoe, the reality of God's life, practically at work in a man. And they look at you and say, Pastor Alpha, is it true that you came from Kogi State with this rest roundabout? The witches left you, they didn't leave me, I came out. I access the mystery because they are still there if they left you they will leave everybody there you mean you come from this state and you are not a drunkard no the drunkenness is still there I came out by a mystery of exemption this house I built it at what age 27 where did you get the money from the only person that built a house here was the king of the village and he built it at 63 and you tell them well 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 welcome to a new order where intelligence creates reality do you know you would die and you say no no the same mystery that built the house without resistance keeps the house You had the testimony of the gentleman diagnosed of prostate cancer and all of a sudden is that prostate cancer he would have died like a chicken then we will say how can they ally Sharia? you see what how we convince ourselves as if the will of god is a mystery i know the thoughts that i think towards you said the lord they are thoughts of good and not of evil i don't know poverty does not look like good oppression does not look like good no sir I counsel a couple age me they got married their wedding night that's supposed to be a night of joy their very wedding night a stranger walked physically to the woman and told her the same thing I did to your mother is what I would do to you she true story she got pregnant According to what she told me, they were even happy. People were dancing. And in the night, this stranger came again. And this is all he did on her stomach. And she got up in the morning, bleeding profusely as if she would die. Machines don't diagnose causes. Machines cannot detect the presence of demons. They only detect the effect of their presence. We went to Ida. We always go there for Pastor Alpha's conference. And I remember one of the years when we traveled there, he took us on a tour and began to explain to us. We went to greet the king. The man refused to see us later on. And then we went somewhere and I saw foul. Remember, Market Square. One Market Square that we went. I saw it there with my eyes. And people were passing. Whoever did the sacrifice just scattered it there. Witchcraft is real. If you see anybody rising, he is exempted or yet to be a victim. You hear what I said? Exempted or, or the devil is allowing their ignorance to keep them going while they laugh at others. I say it's because you don't know the day will do you. 
it will scatter and rubbish you into pieces there are people who are so irrelevant as far as their impact to hell is concerned the devil said just allow them to be busy they think it's because they have overcome the day something about your life and ministry strikes hell you will see the reaction immediately you can be praying your childish prayer and the devil say focus on those who are really just leave that person and you can convince yourself that because nothing has happened say no 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 I'm, i know what to say i don't talk too much and things happen the day that you ever say anything that strikes a chord in hell suddenly strangers will come to you and say don't do it again brothers and sisters if you see men rise as if satan does not exist it's not it's because they have accessed a mystery that immunes them this is what i'm teaching you tonight but to refuse that this does not exist is the beginning of deception beginning of deception the western world has been cheated in this area in a very big way because of advancement in medicine and advancement in all of these things oh they leave it to all the spiritists and the, as the the transcendental meditators and all of them come the nation of america listen their fathers understood this mystery they walked in power and when satan found out that that whole generation had covenanted their lives to god he left them and started growing with their children he said let's leave the fathers to die in the crusade ground and he started growing with the children and all the children came up with all kinds of things you know i mean there's if, if you are sick right now you cough ambulance is coming in five minutes and so they don't believe it now look at the disaster happening in the western world where people can kill themselves on youtube shoot their children effects they laughed at us in africa before that we are the ones who used to behave like that you carry arrows now they have a reprobate mind a generation successfully captured by hell a cause is a mystery a very deep mystery hallelujah how many beautiful ladies do you know beautiful godly god-fearing the painful part is nobody has even come to say hi my dear you know you're a pretty lady it's not a lie you know what i'm saying it's not a lie how many parents went to all kinds of rivers and were dipped how many times to be pregnant There is a system in the kingdom for exemption but the first key is to acknowledge that there is such a reality on earth a lot of people don't believe causes are real it's foolish to believe sickness is real and poverty is real and not believe causes are real the same boss brought all of them how you know you are free from causes is that you also don't fall sick and you don't get poor if you can still get poor as a believer then make no mistakes to say a cause cannot come are you getting what i'm saying if as a believer i say are you born again yes are you blessed no i'm poor they say okay it's okay with time it will change are you a believer yes are you sick oh very sick are you a believer yes is there manipulation of that no 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 are we not mocking ourselves what is the difference between sickness, poverty, and causes? If we do not get this, we will destroy ourselves. Every time I look at this next generation of Koinonia, our little ones, do you know what I tell myself? We have to run fast and correct everything that our parents could not correct in our lives before our children come correct it fast i look at these dear ones and i'm imagining a time that they will now start growing and all of a sudden they will become victims our parents were sincere people but they didn't know the way out so many of us we are in the middle of two generations correcting the errors of the father and setting precedents for a new generation is worth enduring are you hearing what i'm saying 
hear me you are you are hearing this message tonight if you are a lady here as you are hearing it just just know that you are you are hearing it not just for yourself but you are hearing it for a generation you ignore what i'm saying it will pain you to watch your children go through this and you will remember you had a chance to be free no. i cannot allow my children go through this let me suffer it let me go through it no matter what it will cost me if i go through the delay let it be that is me that went through for them so that these dear ones will move forward if i go through the poverty let it be that is me that will suffer it but not that i will bring a child and watch your child die like a chicken and turn and say father what did i do wrong and you say me too that's how i saw it everybody shout no way How many students do very well? Secondary school, brilliant people. Wayek, nine papers. They step into the university and all of a sudden, 100 level result, nine Fs. You think they are dull. They are conducting tutorials. But they enter the exam hall. They only remember in the night when the exam has finished. It's not everybody who is lazy. Let me tell you. What of recurrent sicknesses? There are people today, there is no month they don't fall sick. Go to the hospital, they will tell you nothing is wrong. Now the doctors are wiser. Thank God for spiritual people becoming doctors. They don't waste time again. The moment they diagnose you, they see that you have come once, twice. They'll say, do you know what? Find any available crusade and run quickly. Go to the front early and stand there and trust God to wipe your tears. That's why we need more spiritual people getting into our hospitals so that they will not allow people to die like chickens i look forward to times where god will give men and women of power the moment you are a midwife helping a woman give birth and the baby is not coming out you detect by the spirit this is witchcraft right there shagato soto labaya help that lady and all of a sudden you find out that that woman gives birth koinonia today is not rising because there are no demons let me tell you make no mistakes only god knows how many powers try to kill me every day i told you all the time only god knows how many people take my names to shrines oh it has never happened in israel there was a woman called the widow of Nain what killed her husband she had only one child one child the husband now died the child now died on her way going jesus saw and said no this is not the issue of burial i need to change something here there are families you will see them in a community 32 people only one percent of them are men and all the men are mad men they are not they are, their brains are not even in place again madman is a woman that pays the school fees of children is a woman that drives car is a woman that builds a house is a woman that does everything all the men become useless you see them playing draft in the morning and laughing and taking beer it's a cause There are families with a cause where the children never see their grandparents either they are in exile or they die please tonight you are going to offer yourself as a living sacrifice that will change this you you will have to be a wicked person if you allow your children go through this thing i'm telling you what of poverty what of poverty there are many people who went to harvard came back anything they start die the day you want to start importing it that's when government banned it why was it exactly others have finished making their money just when you were about to start what of people in ministry they think it's normal everybody they raise disappoints them there is a spirit they raise so many men 
but they disappoint them there is no helper a man will be 30 years in ministry who has become a father in the faith you should have people to you should not beg for bread again but there is no man you call for help there is nobody some of you see some of these women walking on the street 71 years carrying firewood where are the children she gave birth to where are they one is in prison the other one is security somewhere and they are about to throw him out you find families where a lady has seven children from seven different men seven different men she honestly does not even know which one is the husband of which because a madman will just rape her somewhere and sometimes she can even be coming back from the house of god it's a programming it looks like a coincidence what kind of coincidence keeps happening you start business you crash you always lose money you always lose joy you always lose peace you always run into trouble they are chasing a thief the moment they pass you that's when police will say from this place pack all of them you were innocent it's a programming you reign you ancient Zion king Kadosh Kadosh you were mighty on your own Break forth down fountains of the deep and we have you are mighty on your throne. Listen, help me. How can a man lose a job in 1999 until now he has not gotten a job? Is it that dull? see let me tell you something sit down if you can we'll soon stand up and pray listen listen to me when you study the laws of mechanics sir isaac newton postulated a law we call it the first law of mechanics and this is what it states that everybody continues in its uniform motion or a static state right it remains there until compelled by an external force to act otherwise through the law of inertia that if i leave this in one place theoretically speaking thank you i should come and find it in one place after a long time that's how the, your destiny will be if you sit down and you are wishing it will remain like that the only thing that will be changing is your age but your condition will remain the same how about men have you seen families where the men never leave their parents homes there is such a thing they bring their wife all the cousins and their wives to their father's house you see that the house they are staying was the grandfather's house the guy works in nmpc but cannot rent a good house you ask him why you say okay i'll do something about it 45 years he's still in his father's house they share the parlor they compartmentalize the kitchen if you buy your first car 50 years is that a testimony no you build a house at 55 is that a testimony Take seriously what I'm saying. What of ministries? There are churches that this cause of poverty has still landed even on the ministers. You will see a church with members but prosperity zero. When it comes to finances, you will never see increase in that area. But tonight, God put this body in my heart. 
because it's time for somebody's lifting yes it is yes it is yes it is barrenness every look at me i want to tell you something now and please listen we are here to help ourselves but let me give you an information every case of barrenness is spiritual e-v-e-r-y every case of barrenness is spiritual let me repeat it every case of barrenness is spiritual so says the bible the remedy for every case of barrenness was spiritual and god opened the womb of rachel and god opened the womb of leah and god shot the womb of a milka david's wife every so that when some things happen to you you don't waste time you know where to go for to look for help quickly quickly recurrent deaths i remember one lady i can't remember um who now but there used to be a lady i remember the story faintly now that was dedicated to snakes literally snakes and the way snake molds this molting it happens to her physically the outer skin begins to you know swell like peel i'm not talking of all just skin irritation literally like a snake molting it's good to marry from the house of god because the job has been done you hear what i'm saying is a good advice i'm telling you no matter what is pursuing you bring it to the house of god the house of god is a factory where true solution is provided when the devil wants to rubbish you he makes you successful and then he goes to connect you with a very wrong person and your life begins to know style a cause causeless shall not stand self-inflicted causes are results of ignorance and disobedience ignorance and disobedience ignorance and disobedience ignorance and disobedience self-inflicted causes are products of ignorance and disobedience no matter how born again you are if you don't tithe your heavens are closed that for sure Whatever you think about the situation notwithstanding. Seeing then that these realities are true, what provision is in the kingdom to bail men out and exempt them? I'm going to show you the system in the kingdom designed to set men free. Ready? Psalms 102, verse 13. It's a mystery very few people understand. Please give us Psalms 102, verse 13. Read it if you're a child of God. One, two, read. Three things mercy, time, favor. Mercy, time, favor. Thou shalt arise and have mercy upon Zion for the time to favor her, even the set time, the Kairos moment, the opportune time is come. Because of that, arise and have mercy. Let me tell you something about the mercy of God. The mercy of God is not an attribute for sinners. The salvation of sinners only pass through the mystery of mercy. But mercy is more than, more than a provision just for sinners to experience salvation. You have to understand this. The mercy of God is part of the attributes of his person. The mercy of God is a system a system in the kingdom 
where guilty people are made free the mercy of God is a system is a provision in his wisdom his infinite wisdom he factored in a provision although righteousness and justice are the foundations of his throne but in his dealings with man he introduced a mystery let me tell you something about mercy look up mercy only works for people who are in time mercy cannot work in eternity <sighs> otherwise satan will not be where he is that's why he says his mercies are new every he ties time to the operation of mercy meaning whenever just like he said as far as the earth remains so when you can see the morning the mercy of god is valid mercy mercy is the attribute of god listen that provokes his help to your life regardless of your satisfying the condition for it or not mercy is a powerful attribute that is the ancient secret that the nation of Israel used to turn around battles. When they sinned against God, God gave them over to their enemies. And every time a prophet would intercept, there was an enchantment. They would have to chant something. You are good and your mercy. It was not a song. It was an invocation. Every time they started singing that song, for he is good and his mercy see how many times the psalmist uses it the psalmist was a benefactor of the mercy of god did everything wrong but every time god want to come in he will remind him the lord is gracious and compassionate slow to anger and rich in love the bible tells us that the lord's mercy can triumph come on now that the lord's mercy can triumph over judgment so when i get to the end of my road i know that i am deserving of everything should happen that should happen yes my father sacrificed to idols yes my carelessness i am not a tighter i am qualified for financial bankruptcy the last card i danced it did not work i prayed it did not work the attribute for bailout is invoking the mercy of god you are good and your mercy is forever hallelujah you are good and your mercy is forever hallelujah samson lost his strength to delilah the bible says his eyes were plucked the symbol of light in his life and the mystery that surrounded his power his hair shoven completely and they took him the bible says they took him to their temple to make mockery of god everything was over but at samson leaned there they didn't watch the hair grow he said oh lord he cried for mercy and the moment he did that see there is one prayer god cannot say no to if you have never been confident of a prayer that will be answered try the prayer of mercy invoke mercy lord i know i am undeserving of this but i invoke your mercy it is of the lord's mercy listen it is of the lord's mercy meaning my lifetime is too fast for me to not have made a mistake but it is of the lord's mercy somewhere in my work he creates a system a provision see let me tell you it is on grounds of this that the bible can say rejoice not over me my enemies for when you think ah there was a time his car now had an accident will he ever rise again don't go ah the worst witchcraft in your life is to stop you from receiving god's mercy you are finished mercy and samson pushed 
and the Bible says he killed more people at his death than his lifetime what of blind Bartimaeus thou son of David hold on he never said heal me the Bible says God will give us the desires of our heart I thought it would be thou son of David heal me he said thou son of David have mercy mercy is an open check and God had to come he left and came thou son of David there were two condemned criminals on the cross condemned once you hang on that cross it's over for you two condemned criminals one was talking nonsense like many people are still doing their quarter to finish in life and they are still making noise and the other one provoked his mercy and he said this day today not tomorrow today you will be with me in paradise are we together listen the mercy of God is an attribute you need in your life it's not for sinners the mercy of God was designed in your work with him to remedy for your limitations there is such a thing as limitation if I tell you every anointing that is in my life is just because of prayer and fasting I will be lying no I have mastered the art of God's mercy years ago during a pastor's, a pastor's conference the ministers were lying down and praying and the minister who was testifying this said he went to lie down close to Papa Deboe to hear the prayer he was praying and he said for over two or three hours all Papa Deboe was saying was mercy mercy Lord you would think he stole church money he knew he understood to pastor millions of people you don't just need anointing you need mercy 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 Jesus met a woman by the well when he met that woman by the well they started a conversation number one that woman was a prostitute correct and then because of that more the disciples oh, no, 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 don't come and corrupt Jesus you're a bad woman and Jesus started talking with her and she started touching his mercy and at the end of it that woman ran and said come and see the man who has told me what I have done mercy mercy vetoes everything in your life and when the door settles you are still standing that's why you see those who know this when people are dancing and saying the power of my might has given me this oh this great ministry koinonia apostle what wisdom you are such an anointed man i just laugh and look at them you need to hear my prayer in the secret place the mercy of god when david one day the bible says when kings go for war david was meandering his balcony correct and he looked at somebody's wife she was baffing and from the altitude he could see her nakedness and he desired her the bible says he sent and they fetched that woman and they came he now got a man's wife pregnant and ordered that they go and call uriah in the heat of war not minding whether the nation of israel would die they carried uriah and brought uriah uriah said my king i'm here he says i just wanted you to come and have you seen your wife recently yes, ah. Have you forgotten the ordinances of Israel? I should be there in the heat of battle. And he got angry. And all he did, listen, was to write a letter, a man's own death sentence, and give him to the battle. And the painful part is that he died. Question, what was the difference between Cain and David? killed Abel blood started crying meaning when David killed Uriah blood should be crying correct David went wept 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 when all of that happened you would think that after the, the child died he will now tell the wife he said okay go I will marry you again who was the mother of Solomon <laughs> he did it again 
Correct? Is David that will write his sins and ask them to sing it as a song? If it had not been the Lord by my side, now may Israel say, if it had not been the Lord, he will ask the nation of Israel to chorus for his mercy shall endure ever faithful, ever sure. And they will begin to sing it. God want to destroy David. David would just find, he knew how to just tie God down. And God said, this is a man after my own heart. A man that understand, not even Moses was called a man after his heart. Mercy. This is what our families need. This is what we need. This is what many ministries need. This is what many businesses need. Let me tell you something. We are rounding up. There is a system to be a recipient of God's mercy. Number one, a broken and a contrite heart. Write it down. Arrogant people are never qualified to be the benefactors of God's mercy. For as long as you think by yourself and in your strength you are qualified and deserving, you will never have it. Great is your mercy towards me. Your loving kindness towards me. Your tender mercy I see day after day. the blood we invoke his mercy for you to sit down and believe your forefathers did not do anything you are a joker but the mercy of God has a way of exempting you the mercy of God has a way of exempting you from the rubbish and the nonsense that should be your lot the mercy of God can change any negative prophecy over any man's life regardless of what was seen about you A particular prophet now came and met David correct and then started to speak to him in parables there was a certain man who had a vineyard and somebody somebody came and grabbed the vineyard and David said who is that was angry say you are the one who watch this do you know David was supposed to die we have a series on mercy that will deal with I don't want to go there but do you know when you read that scripture when David asked for mercy God said that death had been taken from him David would have died David would have died the wages of sin is not sickness the wages of sin is death but mercy but mercy but mercy there are some of you here legally you are supposed to be failures in life so based on that concoction those who knew you had the gods to even prophesy it and what they were saying is right but mercy when you introduce mercy to the equation calculation changes everything changes so a murderer like Moses could now become a deliverer by the mercy and the grace of God he said it is of the Lord's mercy that we are not consumed let me tell you one of the greatest ways to break causes hear me one of the greatest ways to end causes is to invoke the mercy of God the mercy of God the mercy of God over your life 
invoke the mercy of God over the works of your hands the moment even as human beings if somebody tells you sorry if I look at you now come and make I look at you and I say look you know you did this and I'm supposed to deal with you and all of a sudden you kneel down and say sir I am sorry do you not know that this position paralyzes me at once I look at you and say ah, I hate you but you have done something now that on a very good day what I plan to do for you I would have dealt with you I would have humiliated you I would have made sure your career were miserable but mercy and the terrible thing about all the well not terrible in righteousness about mercy is that every time mercy is invoked it not only solves the current problem it promotes you mercy will always lift mercy will always lift it will not just take away the current predicament but it will lift you and take you higher higher by the mercy and the grace of God by the mercy and by the grace of God so it says thou shall arise and have mercy upon Joshua Selman upon Koinonia for the time the time the Lord wants to lift me but there are certain levels of light and illumination I do not yet know and if I'm to wait until I know all those things I may never rise so he introduces his mercy and I rise to realms that even me I know that is beyond my level of understanding the mercy of God you will find yourself in the company of people you know your age and your level in life should not bring you their skills brought them but the mercy of God took you there as we travel around I have seen the honor of God by the grace of God and it never stops humbling me when I see the things that people do on account of their perception of the grace of God upon my life sometimes I stand by the mirror and I look I say except for the mercy of God who dash monkey banana who really dash monkey banana you see it's not false humility it's an acknowledgement of truth the mercy of God you are there boasting about being an entrepreneur and you don't have up to 100,000 in your account you better realize that there is a dimension of the mercy of God in this equation that can arise and lift you are you hearing what I'm saying there is a dimension in ministry I believe in principles I teach principles here but let me tell you the truth there are many gaps in this equation to success that we are still learning how it works there are still gaps and one thing I've learned is that those gaps are provisions that only God can fill that's where his mercy comes in and he amplifies and multiplies little things and your life becomes a sign and a wonder because I have seen women who never trained their children the children eight children all of them became great they got born again five are pastors all of them are millionaires they love God they are wonderful people walking in the ways of God but the woman and her husband don't know jack about parenting that one is not wisdom again let the wise man not glory in his wisdom let the strong man not glory in his strength the bible says but let him that glory had glory in this that he understandeth and knoweth me when you know him you know he's full of compassion and mercy i will worship him forever love him forever because this god is too good i will worship him forever love him forever because this god is too good see way before i learned certain principles i knew now i was already getting their results 
when I learned the principle, I knew that truly favor and the mercy of God really qualifies the unqualified. I have seen levels of breakthrough in my life that happened before I knew the principles that brought them. Yes, this is true. Way before I understood principles of church growth and increase, I had been seeing the hand of God. And it's, there is a science to growth. If you don't know it, it should not happen. But mercy, mercy, mercy. Tonight we are going to invoke mercy upon our lives, upon our families, and take away this air of pride that makes you think I have to marry because I'm beautiful. I think I'm intelligent. I should be a millionaire by now. The pride of men is the reason why they never get qualified for mercy. One of the most powerful mysteries of exemption against causes, against yokes. Listen, I've seen people, Ejimi, they are not even born again yet. But sincerely, you know, they call it in house of Genie. You've seen that happen? They take their names to the Habalis and the Habalis will reject it and they are not born again. They don't love God. They don't know him. But their hearts are so sincere. Somehow they know there is a God out there and whoever it is, they are grateful to him. And God says, protect them. Regardless of the fact that they are not prayerful, their hearts are wicked. Yet God protects them. I've seen drunkards on the road that would drink to stupor and enter their car and drive safely back home. They never fear death. And somehow you even pray and say you're a wicked man. God will deal with you. But you'll find out that 10 years that guy is still drowsing his way in this world and not dead. They never fear anything. They hear that there is crisis. Bomb will explode where you know they are. In the night, you still see him back. Safe and hale and hearty. You didn't die and he laughs. That guy doesn't take communion. That guy has never attended prayer meeting. That guy has never attended miracle service. He doesn't even know what his genotype is. Honestly, he doesn't know whether he's sick or healthy. All he knows is that his heart is a sincere heart and it cries out to God. Destroy it not, for there is a blessing in it. Destroy it not, for there is a blessing. This is what has kept some of our parents home. Because you know that if it's based on keeping the principles of the kingdom, they would have died since. It would have, it would have swallowed them. If the Lord had not been by my side, now may Israel say. I think of what men would have done to me when I didn't know the principles of restoration, when I didn't know the principles of long life, I imagine what would have happened. And I wonder how many things I do not know now that I will know in the future. How I walk in the midst of the valley of the shadow of death, yet his mercy keeps me. If all else fail, invoke his mercy I give you a formula if all else fails invoke his mercy you have submitted names for prayer requests and nothing has happened Lord mercy for my family they are all sinners mercy for my family mercy for this yoke of darkness that is destroying men nobody in my family is making it and on legal basis the devil has his hold upon them and if you try to talk to them the painful part is they won't listen to you because the God of this system has blinded their minds but you can invoke mercy invoke mercy invoke mercy are you blessed tonight? I want you to sing for me the stanza of that song. Himela, Himela, Okaka, help me. Oh, yeah, who knows the stanza? Himela, Himela, is the Trust that stanza. The stanza. 
closer of the song. That's what I really want to hear. When I think upon your goodness and your faithfulness each day, I'm convinced it's not because I am worthy. Oh, hallelujah. To receive the kind of love that you give.
And you are about to use it now. Ha! And he showed me Joshua the high priest standing before the Lord. And the accuser came before him, attempting to rail accusations. And he said, Is this not a reed that I have taken out of fire? And he said, The Lord rebuke you. Listen, the mercy of God is a weapon. You can use it and say, Satan. I know you are supposed to destroy me but what about this I present to you the mercy of God I present to you the blood of the eternal covenant I present to you the advocacy of Jesus at the right hand of the father standing and speaking I present to you the sinless blood I present to you Calvary Shut your voice. Invoke mercy. Hey, kalaba kaba. Invoke mercy. Ripapa peka peka. Every voice. Kala kalaba kaba. Voice of mercy. Hey, kapa da. Ripapa peka peka. Voice of mercy. 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 Hallelujah. Hear me. Tonight you are going to use it as a weapon over the devourer. I know I've not been a tighter. You are authorized to destroy me. But see the blood. When I see the blood. When I see the blood. When I see the blood. You should be destroyed. But the blood will speak. Hear me. You live the wayward life. And all kinds of things happen. And the earth cries against you. But when I see the blood. When I see the blood. You were involved in all kinds of blood covenants and fraternities in ignorance but now that you are in Christ when I see the blood lift up your voice and plead the blood hey! in for mercy come on now in for mercy Hallelujah. Hear me. The Bible says blotting out every handwriting. There are handwritings. There are records kept in the realm of the spirit that testify that you should not live long. There are records in the realm of the spirit that testify that you should not be blessed. There are records in the realm of the spirit that testify that you should not have any child again. The devil says you wasted all your children and all of them have gone. 
there is a record in the realm of the spirit that says you have misused all the opportunities that you were given but tonight plead the blood it can blot it out come on now it can blot it out but it can blot it out it can blot out it can blot out it can blot out Was he praying? Hear me. A cause causeless shall not stand. A cause causeless. So if the blood of Jesus takes away the legal access, the effect must leave me to open your mouth and declare every pattern. You have been blotted. You need my life. Patterns of barrenness. Patterns of failure. Come on now, Koinoni, are you praying? Listen, 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 listen. When you activate this, you will find out that no longer will there be an accusation to say, oh, you once in, were in the world, you committed 19 abortions and blood is speaking and that's why your life is not moving. It should not move. But now that you have invoked mercy, it makes the cause causeless. That means it should not come again. Are we together? You stole money. Help them, please. And all of that, you destroyed another person's destiny. But now that you are in Christ, what of the blood? He showed me Joshua the high priest. Please take seriously. This is what I did for my own life, oh. Let me tell you. For we rise to our access to mysteries in the kingdom. I want to pray for you. But we are going to pray one more prayer point. Hear me. The Bible says, the scripture we started in. Give us that scripture again, Lamentations. 5 verse 7. Please quickly, we want to pray and then we'll round up. Lamentations, chapter 5, verse 7. Our fathers have seen and are not, and we have borne their iniquities. But now, if I appropriate the revelation that I've been called out of every tribe, out of every tongue, out of every nation, I can't go to hell because I, I was born in Kogi or I was born in Plateau State. I did ask them to do witchcraft and now that they have done it if the land is cursed i exempt myself i can't be a victim of another man's wickedness listen i'd like you to pray with all your heart and say i begin a new order 
a new order dissociated from the past alienated from witchcraft and causes and yokes by the blood of the eternal God. Koinonia, are you praying? Alienated. Every biological deformity. Every genetic disease. Pray. Every yoke. The made you SS. The made you AS. The made you hepatitis. It must go tonight. The spirit of the Lord, the spirit of the Lord, the spirit of Lift your hands, I want to pray for you. This is our year of triumph. Now, thanks be to God who causes us always to triumph. I want to pray for you. Listen, let me tell you. If God be God, everything that you're carrying, I don't care whether it's self-inflicted, you have invoked the blood. The blood provokes the compassion of the Christ. His advocacy at the throne of the Father does not happen automatically. It happens in response to an incense sent from the earth. The same way his high priestly ministry, the Bible says is in the order of Melchizedek. Melchizedek did not speak until he had an encounter with Abraham and he gave him a tenth of all. I want to pray for you now because there are lives and destinies under the yoke of witchcraft. Koinonia remains an uncomfortable place for them until it shall come to pass in that day that the burden shall be lifted from off your neck and the yoke from off your shoulder and it shall be destroyed because of the anointing. Yes. yes. I stretch my hands right now. You hear me? I'm hearing in my spirit household wickedness and the fire of God is falling upon all who are victims of that. I stretch my hands right now. Let it be. Shabbos kupadabash. Lekrete ketoko soto balakatai. Shabrekete kosuta bariatakata. In the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God. Inside, outside, I stretch my hands. Be free right now. Be free right now. In the name of Jesus, be free right now from activities of witchcraft. Hallelujah. Demonic activities. Strangers coming to you in the night to sleep with you. Men, women, animals, and all kinds of things. Coming to destroy you, plant rubbish in your body. I pray right now. In the name of Jesus, anyone who is a victim of every kind of manipulation in dreams, caused as a result of ancestry, right now in the name of Jesus, I command freedom, I command liberty, I command freedom, I command liberty. The blood speaks right now in the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. He said, The earth is caused for your sake. He says, With the sweat of your brows shall you eat. But the Bible says in Galatians chapter 3, verse 29, He says, And if ye be Christ's, then are ye Abraham's seed and heirs according to the promise i want to speak and set you free there is a cause of hardship many people are victims of this cause hardship has nothing to do with poverty listen carefully many people here you are standing representing your families as i pray and right now in the name of jesus in the name of jesus the son of the living god 
I stretch my hands right now. I command that yoke be taken from off your shoulder. Help them, please. Be taken from off your shoulders. Be taken from off your shoulders. Right now, in the name of Jesus, I command that cause of hardship be taken from off your shoulders. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hear me. I declare to you a dimension of ease you have never seen in your life. Step into it right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Every yoke of disfavor, bad luck, that looms around the life of men and women here, so that you never rise, is like a veil on your face. And anyone who sees you walks against you, I command that fail be taken off right now be taken off right now be taken off right now in the name of Jesus Christ and Cain said my punishment is too great he said, I have become a fugitive and a vagabond. He said, all who see me will slay me. All who see me will slay me. All who see me will slay me. Whether they are strangers, something upon me makes all who see me to slay me. Any mark. Zegeto shalakras katabadiyasha. Lebren tekes kotabras kataliya. Any mark upon your life upon your business upon your ministry that keeps attracting woes keeps attracting scandals keep attracting negativism right now in the name of jesus that might be blotted forever be blotted forever be blotted forever Any strange sickness in your body through your blood that came from ancestry genotypes SS Jakatosia AS there's no such reality in the realm of the spirit that provision does not exist is a manipulation from the second heavens altering the genetics of men but right now in the name of Jesus every blood related issue passed to you by covenant i blot it out of your body right now i blot it out right now in the name of jesus christ hallelujah the classic sign of causes and yokes is the presence of patterns you usually are not the first to experience that but i want to prophesy right now i don't know what patterns you have seen around your life you have seen around your finances you have seen around your work with god you are up today down tomorrow you are serious today on serious tomorrow you love the lord today you love something else tomorrow your ministry rises today crashes tomorrow your finances is up today and is blown like the wind in the name of jesus the bible says every house is built by some man but god is the builder therefore i decree and declare that any pattern any spiritual construction that was built by an agency other than the christ in the name that is above all names i command a tearing down and a rebuilding now 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 to the realm of the spirit whatever should have happened to your life by now for good but because of the presence of these embargoes there are dimensions you should have entered in Christ there are levels of growth levels of advancement and influence and wisdom and access 
that you should have been a custodian of by grace and for whatever reason certain objections have risen in the realm of the spirit to stop you in the name of Jesus Christ I provoke restoration right now 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 I pray over your life and the hand of the Lord came upon Elijah and the Bible says Elijah ran on barefoot and overtook the chariots of Ahab down to Jezreel I want to speak speed in your life I don't know what tied you down by now according to the program of God for you you should have entered certain levels you should have been the mother of four children now but you are yet to have one therefore I command speed step into it right now in the name of Jesus I command speed speed of accomplishment speed of accomplishment in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus Zion's king Kadosh, Kadosh You are mighty on your throne Oh sing Oh fountains of the deep Cry out Kadosh You are mighty on your throne You reign You ancient Zion's king Kadosh, Kadosh you are mighty on your own. Break forth, O oh Spirit of the deep. Cry out, God, oh, you are mighty on your own. Mighty on your throne. You are 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 mighty on your road. You are mighty on your road. You are mighty on your You are mighty in this place. 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 You are mighty in my life. 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 Hallelujah. We are going to pray just two prayer points and then I'll begin to minister. You are mighty in this place. They that are with us are greater, greater, greater. There shall no man be able to stand against you all the days of your life. Prayer point number one. Oh God, by the blood I cry for mercy. Where I've allowed the devourer, I have stolen from my tithe your designated portion. I've allowed the devil deceive me that the tithe is a gimmick by preachers. Now I realize and I ask for your mercy. Lift your voice and pray. Inside and outside, lift your voice. Your tithe. Is your spiritual circumcision? Esho para que te pitanda bakata, pato poto si bakete de ka paso to prekete, leke te 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 re baska, embrakete ka pata la baba, bakata prekete, embrakete kita ya shaba, prekete kita pato, shaka ta 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 ta
For fresh grace oh. and make a vow that you will never miss out on your tithe again. Make, make a vow, not by fear. assurance and I pledge the name of the Lord upon this if you take what I've shared tonight for many of you this is your secret is your password to a mysterious level of lifting a level of lifting that will surprise you as much as surprise those who are your spectators God's portion the time his designated portion that makes creation to walk in your favor makes your enemies to walk in your favor mysterious but powerful consistent hallelujah just one more prayer and then we'll trust to see the mighty things that the lord is going to do i want you to lift your voice in one minute we are going to pray in the next five minutes listen I want you to confront the gates of your destiny and I want you to pray and say you must open up this night lift your voice is the seventh month the gates of my destiny must open up by the power of the Holy Ghost 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 that must open up some just in chariots some in horses but we trust in the name of our God just add one more prayer because I see the angels of the Lord already moving let me just add one more prayer listen oh 
I want you to pray. Listen. There are giants on every mountain. Every one of us is holding a prayer request because there is an aspect of your life the devil has refused to let you go. But tonight, I want you to lift up your voice and prophesy to the heavens and challenge those powers and say, I must go tonight. Lift your voice. Inside and outside. Cry. I must walk away. That out disease must die today. That cancer must die today. That HIV must go today. That barrenness must go today. That stagnation must go today. Pray. Something is happening in the realm of the spirit. Pray. Something is happening in the realm of the spirit. Pray. Something is happening in the realm of the spirit. Oh, 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 Hallelujah. Now, before I begin ministering, please, can I have that family if they are here? The family that came with the poison person. Are they here? Please, let's save time. If they are here, just signify by wave of hand and then run out here quickly. There's a lot to do tonight. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. While that is happening, I want everybody to follow up on your prayer request. If you are here to write, least one minute so that when we begin to flow we just move and we don't stop so you have one minute while you are praying in tongues just write your prayer request very quickly so that when it's time to pass it you just pass it very fast make sure you don't keep silent Write the issues that have threatened you and watch the God of heaven turn them into testimonies. What can I do? I can leave without you. I can leave without you. So tell me, what can I do? I can leave without you. I can leave without you.
miracles, a reign of deliverances, a reign of impartations, a reign of breakthroughs. We forcefully advance tonight. We compel gates to be open. We compel doors to be open. We compel every handwriting of darkness to give way in this place tonight. And we declare that this atmosphere is completely under the influence of the Holy Spirit. And that everybody here within this vicinity comes under the influence of the Spirit. Lord, that no one will walk out of this place without a touch of God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now, I'm going to begin to minister to us. And while I prayed for this in the course of the week, again and again, I kept seeing... Please pay attention. Can I have strings, 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 strings? Hallelujah. I kept seeing again and again, spirits, watch this, spirits leeching onto people. This is what I kept seeing. Like a man sitting on a man's shoulder. I saw this over many people and I said, Lord, what is the meaning of this? And the Lord began to, re to reveal to me that these are the spirits that cause setbacks upon the lives of men and upon the lives of families. And the Lord said, when I come up, he said, the first thing I should do is dislodge those powers. Dislodge those powers. I saw them like a man, like a child who sit down on the shoulder of another, bringing a resistance to your destiny. And I'm about to pray for you right now. There are so many people under the sound of my voice. So many people under the sound of my voice. They must go. Heaven is here to assist us. Lift your hands everyone. Inside and outside. There will be such mighty deliverances outside. By the anointing of the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. I even see someone um, uh, suffering from severe migraine. But then that migraine you think is just sickness. We are about to make a shout, brothers and sisters. This shout is like the sling of David. It looks ordinary, but there is a circumcision upon it. It's a shout that rises beyond the earth realm. It's a shout that rises beyond the intelligence of men. It's a shout that is like a battle sound to the angelic. It's like a battle sound because your destiny must open up right now. There will be mighty deliverances. Mighty deliverances. Hallelujah. I'm going to pray for us. And then at the count of three, we are going to shout that name, Jesus. My goodness. I sense the anointing of the Spirit. Heavy. The power of God will fall upon many of you in a mighty way. And you will see this Spirit. Some of you are already feeling uncomfortable. It's the power of God. Especially many outside. There will be mighty deliverances. Lift your hands now. Thank you, Jesus. Father, in the name of your son, I pray right now and I sound an alarm in the realm of the spirit. I decree and I declare by the anointing of the Holy Ghost that the fire of the spirit, oh, restrain not your hand, oh, mighty one. We pray that you arise as a man of war. There are destinies at the mercy of your touch. I pray that by this shout, oh God, there be a visitation. That by this shout, oh God, everyone here, under any spirit, help them please. Help them. Bring them out. Everyone here, under any influence, as we shout, let fire catch them and visit their foundations. And I command every power that at this shout, you will let God's people go inside and outside. One, two, Three, shout that name. I command witchcraft, powers of darkness, right now, right now, 
in the name of Jesus inside and outside inside and outside inside and outside the fire of God is falling on people falling on people I cause witchcraft I cause witchcraft I cause witchcraft I cause witchcraft, I cause witchcraft. In the name of Jesus. Lift your hands. Malatata. I'm seeing altars on fire. That's what I see in the spirit. Please bring them out. Altars on fire. One more time, we're going to shout. Physically, many of you will feel the fire. Physically, physically. Right now, in the name of Jesus. One, two, three. Jesus. Oh, yes. That's fire. That's fire. That's fire. Of the Holy Ghost. Outside. 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 Mighty deliverance. By the power of the Holy Ghost. You must let them go. You must let them go. Right now. By fire, 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 there are people here as i begin to speak the holy ghost will locate them i'm seeing ladies ladies a man comes to you in the night and sleeps with you right now by fire oh god locates them right now right now right now i cause that spirit i cause that spirit ladies ladies a miracle is happening to sister I cost those I cost those those I'm seeing a family in the vision of the Lord. Everyone in that family has been tied down by witchcraft. Lord, where is that person in this place? Inside and outside right now as i speak the power of god comes upon that person right now wherever that person is in the name of jesus in the name of jesus inside and outside the power of god comes upon that person Hallelujah. 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 Lift your voice in one minute. This is what the Lord is telling me. As we begin to pray, miracles will start happening. Lift your voice and break every chain holding you down. Go ahead. This is what God is telling me. Please lift your hands. 
lift your hands i hear my spirit families families god is stepping into families there are altars there are altars over families that are about to be broken as you are standing right now god is going to be visiting your family at that shout again inside and outside make sure you are participating inside and outside we are going to shout that name as you shout the name of jesus families i see altars on fire are you ready now father any family under the yoke of bondage as they shout this name let there be a visitation one two three Jesus! Families, be free now! Be free now! All families, right now, I cost them! I cost them! I cost them! I cost them! By the blood of Jesus! Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Lift your voice and ask him for a visitation again. Something serious is happening in this place. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Lift your hands. I'm hearing marital spells. Marital spells. Please lift your hands. Listen. Hear me. Something mighty is about to happen here. The Lord is ministering to me that there are people who there are spells tying down their marriages whether single or married right now lift your hands as i begin to speak the wind i see like a wind a whirlwind moving across this auditorium oh. it will catch up with some people right now where are they oh god visit them right now in the name of jesus one more time we will shout that name wherever they are one, two three jesus I'm hearing a name Dorcas. Dorcas, a miracle is coming. Dorcas, an altar is on fire. And I'm hearing the Lord telling me a miracle. Dorcas. Dorcas. Come and stand here. Hallelujah. Who is Israel? 
I'm hearing a name Israel. Israel, the Lord is ministering to me. Tonight, He must let you go. Let you go. Hallelujah. Now, the Lord is showing me a woman. You are here. You had a miscarriage. There is a woman here who had a miscarriage. It's like you had a child and you lost the baby. And the Lord is telling me, please help them, those under the anointing, so that we don't. This place is not rowdy. Listen, let me tell you something. The anointing of the spirit does not make the difference. The anointing is the difference. The anointing does not make the difference. Without the anointing, we are just making noise here. But by the anointing, and I'm telling you this, no matter where you are, whether you are inside here or outside or right at the back, I want you to connect because God is visiting you. And every one of you must have a touch. Dorcas. Where is your mother, my dear? Huh? I'm not based in Zaria, sir. No, I'm not saying. She's where is she? Mina, Niger State. She's in Mina. Yes, we have to pray because the Lord is bringing a mighty breakthrough for your family. Do you believe that? Do you believe that? Hold my hands. Father, change the story of this lady by the anointing of the Holy Ghost. In the name of Jesus Christ. As I hold your hands, I declare in the name of Jesus Christ that the Lord set you free. Madam, look at me. Where is your husband? At home. Huh? He's at home. Why didn't he come with you? Because there is a breakthrough that is a portion for him in this meeting. Amen. But I'm going to pray for you. You believe that? Yes, sir. You believe that? Yes, sir. Because this is delay. Yes. I'm seeing delay in your yes, family. Sir. Serious yes, delay. Yes, it's even becoming an issue of argument between you and your husband. Yes, sir. I'm seeing two of you arguing. Yes, sir. But the Lord is saying he is bringing rest to your yes, family. Sir. This Amen, night. Sir. In the name of Jesus Amen. Christ. Father, let there be rest. Rest for her. In the name of Jesus Christ. You are doctors. Where is your mother, my dear? You. She stays in Kaduna. Why? The same way you are crying is how I'm seeing your mother crying in the realm of the spirit. And the Lord is ministering to me. The Lord is saying, Why won't she cry when the load is too much on her? Look at me. Like we shared, tell your mother to get back into faithfulness in tithing. Are you hearing what I'm saying? And even you yourself otherwise you will keep seeing repeated hardship but hold my hands in the name of jesus lord bring rest to this lady bring rest to her in the name of jesus christ where is the woman that had a miscarriage there is a woman that had a miscarriage and the lord is asking me to minister to her we may not be able to minister to everybody but there is there is someone please make sure you don't sit back the lord is ministering to me about that person so that we'll just we'll just pray for her. Dogara, Dogara. I'm hearing a name Dogara. Dogara. Who is Dogara? You. Your name is Dogara. Yes, sir. Where's your dad? He's at home in Kaduna. He's, he's at home. In Kaduna. We have to pray for him. What I'm seeing will never, if they are permitting anything, please and please, maybe carry them out. Of We're about to pray, please, don't worry. In the name of Jesus, I lay my hands right now over and I cause that spirit that wants to bring accident. In the name of Jesus, it will not come to pass. We cancel it right now by the blood of Jesus Christ. Amen. Madam, I want to pray for you. The way I'm holding your hands, that's the way the Lord is saying, I should tell you, he's going to begin to hold your hands and that he will cause you to move forward in your life. The Lord is saying, I should tell you, he's bringing restoration to your life and he's bringing joy to you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Let it be. You are the one with miscarriage. Why did you sit back? Now come, there's nothing embarrassing about it, madam. This is a family because I'm seeing another one happening and we must pray for you. Yes, sir. 
it's happening again. Yes. We have to cancel it. Yes. Huh? Yes, it's not a normal thing that you are having miscarriage yes, because there is a spirit that oppresses you. Yes, huh? yes, and that's what is responsible for that miscarriage. It's not just about praying, praying and saying, pray for me. Okay. You understand? Yes, it takes the anointing of the Holy Spirit. You will give birth to a baby boy. Yes. Hallelujah. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, I pray that this family will experience your touch. Madam, lay, lay your hands on your stomach. Father, there will not be miscarriage again in the name of Jesus. That's right. I see the Spirit. Let her go right now. Right now, release her completely. I set her free. Lord, you showed me a baby boy. Confirm your word by the power of the Holy Spirit. Why are they here? Dorcas, your name is Dorcas too. Your name is Dorcas too. Your daughter's name. Just stand I'll pray for all of you. You are Israel. I'm going to pray for you. Are you a student? We have to pray because I'm seeing the devil attacking your academics. Attacking your academics very seriously. So that they will not begin to tell you your scripts are missing. Huh? And then they will implicate you in the malpractice. The Lord is asking me to minister to you. Father, in the name of Jesus, I declare by the anointing of the Holy Spirit that this is broken. You are all Israel. And I'll pray with you. Come. Let her go right now. I curse you by the God of heaven. Release her right now and let her go. Right now. In the name of Jesus. I'm looking at this woman but in the realm of the spirit all I'm seeing is a large snake. That's all I'm seeing moving around. In the name of Jesus Christ. Where's the usher? Ushers. Lay your hands on this lady. Just what I mean. I curse that spirit. You must release her right now. In the name that is above all names. There is no hiding place. The light of God is against you. In the name of Jesus Christ. There is no hiding place for you. By the blood of Jesus Christ. You must release this woman. Is a spirit of death. Let her go right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Father, may they experience your touch. In the name of Jesus Christ. May they experience your touch. In the name of Jesus Christ. May they experience, I curse that spirit. Let her go. Let her go right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Now all those who were brought out here under the anointing, I want, to, I want to speak to them now. Don't worry. Everyone out here, I speak to the spirits that are tormenting you. You know my voice, I represent the most high. At the count of three, leave them and go. Right now, one, two, go, go, go. Out of them. Out. Out of them now. Out now. Never to return. At your Lord. Live your life, live your destiny. Restoration of virtue, of grace. I cost that spirit from its foundation. I cost it from the blood of Jesus. Hallelujah. All those who are trusting God for jobs, lift your hands. I see a strange anointing in this place. Please, don't withhold your hand. Don't withhold your hand. There is an anointing. There is an anointing. Sister, you looking at me. Rejoice. I see an appointment letter given to you. You, this lady looking at me. You, come. I'm talking to her. You are turning back. You. Come, 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 come. I see an appointment letter given to you. There will be mighty miracles of jobs. Hallelujah, come. This is the person I'm talking about. Because I was praying and before I would even start, I saw them handing over to you something that looks like an appointment letter. Right? You believe me? 
you believe me you will see it and you will stand before God's people to testify in the name of Jesus Christ I pray the Lord says I should tell you he's rolling away your reproach madam the reproach of many years is being rolled away in this season that's what the Lord is saying I should tell you the reproach of many years is being rolled away I'm seeing like a baller that's what I'm seeing a trash place where they pour dirt and I'm seeing a new seed shooting out and that's what is that's that's like a type of your destiny and the Lord is saying I should tell you he's rolling away the reproach from your life in the name of Jesus lift your hands and let's release miracle job if you don't believe in it put down your hand I command you by the blood of Jesus you foul spirit you have oppressed this body in the name of Jesus I break your covenant I break your ordinance there is a strong spirit that has been oppressing this lady it's not just her can you look at how many people holding one tiny lady I curse you now I curse you I curse you by the God of heaven and I curse you by my office in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ I curse that power let her go now right now release her destiny release her family now by the blood of the eternal covenant she's free go release her now in the name of Jesus Christ let me tell you something listen listen people of God don't think we're playing games here I know you may see some of the things happening these are the powers that have tied down men's life it's not solved by counseling you are just moving in the physical yet in the realm of the spirit you are bound we are not embarrassed we are never embarrassed to set people free because that's what Jesus said there's got to be a way of setting people free hallelujah father jobs now in the name that is above all names I want you to receive it as a prophecy over your life Lord I declare everyone called jobless here by the favor of God I terminate joblessness right now by the favor of God I terminate joblessness right now anyone who has applied for any job I compel them to call you I compel them to call your loved ones I compel them to favor you hallelujah do we have anyone here called Agnes Agnes I'm hearing a name Agnes the Lord is ministering to me about one Agnes we we'll begin to pray for the sick shortly. Agnes. I'm hearing the name Agnes. God is ministering to me. He wants to bring deliverance to the family of Agnes. Do we have anyone there? Agnes. Your name is Agnes. Your name too. The family member. Okay, I'm going to pray for you. We'll begin to pray for the sick after this. Father, in the name of Jesus, bring breakthrough for this family. You showed me that you're visiting this family. Go ahead and confirm your word with signs following. In the name of Jesus Christ, I pray for you. Whoever is Agnes in your family, let there be a miracle. In the name of Jesus. I want to begin to pray for the sick but I'm seeing a very serious situation here there's someone here with a swollen leg I don't know who that person is your leg mysteriously
telling you and it looks it's, it's like swollen this is what i see in the vision that the lord is showing me who is that person your leg is swollen where is it which of the legs look what look if if the devil you remember i told you this a body without the spirit look what is happening to this girl and then you just come and marry her because you think you want a wife are you seeing that is is if it can look at one two three four five people holding one person imagine what it would do to someone's destiny I say this without a sense of cynicism many of the people that God is setting free attend churches every week look we need to restore the power of God in our churches and stop playing games with God because God's idea is not just for one platform hallelujah swollen legs no 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 don't, you don't you don't have to madam you too. your legs for how long what's the situation with her is her leg swollen okay hold on she can't walk baby how are you hallelujah please help us with the mic who brought her okay no it's okay it's okay, it's okay. what's your name Annie, your name is Anne. Agnes, Alice, your name is Alice. You can't walk. You can walk, but your leg is bent. Oh my goodness, look at such an innocent lady. Lord, have mercy on this lady. In the name of Jesus Christ, I pray that the Lord will visit you. In the name of Jesus Christ. Let her go back when I begin to pray for the sick, then we let them come out. I'm just going to speak to special cases. Leg, your leg. All of you who had a dream in a dream is like something was shot it's like i don't know if it was an arrow i'm seeing something that looks like a dream and something was shot on your legs if the person is not i'm seeing someone who had that dream it's like i don't know if it was like a gun or something or an or a, 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 a sharp object i know that it was it's like it was shot to your leg Something beat me when I was sleeping. I just woke up and screamed. So blood was coming out of my legs. I, I'll pray for you, but this one I'm seeing, I just want to follow as the Holy Spirit is directing me. It's like, it, it looks like a gun or something sharp. Huh? I was shot in the realm of the Spirit. In my dream. You were shot? Fired at you? Yes. And what happened to you? I only I prayed when I woke up. You prayed when you woke up. The Lord is going to set you free. I know that I've talked to you once, but truly, truly, there is a spirit of delay and stagnation in your life. Because you love God, and God is going to use you in many ways. Not just in the area of the anointing, but even in the area of finances. But as it is, there are many things that are not moving in your life. Lift your hands, let me pray for you. Father, in the name of Jesus, the reason why you redeem is so that we will be free. I pray that you set this gentleman free by the anointing of the Holy Spirit. Everything that was fired on your leg in Jesus' name, I curse it. In Jesus' name. What's happening to you, madam? My leg is swollen. Your leg? Yes. What happened? It's just paining you or it's swollen? It's paining in this thing. It's a, for me to stand or to walk. Almost two years. It's broken for Almost two years. Which of the legs? This one. What can't you do? You can't stand straight. It's a problem for me, yes. Is it that it's shorter than another or what was the issue? It's not shorter than another. Okay. It's the same. It's you catch believe? Food food. As I'm standing now, it's catch huh? food food. Why is she here? She's your daughter. My father was shot in a dream by an arrow. It, according to my dad, it 
entered his thigh and came and out. Came out. The other this thigh. is the person I'm talking about. Uh, and it, huh? it caused a physical wound on his thigh up to his present. This guy Where is, is he? Here. Is he here? He's in Lagos, sir. He's in Lagos. Yes, sir. You believe God will touch him? Yes, sir. When I pray for you, call him and tell him yes, that he's been prayed for. Yes, sir. Huh? Yes, because sir. this is witchcraft. Where are you from? I'm from Benway State. What's your name? My name is Kate. Kate. Yes, sir. From Benway State. Hold yes, my hand. Father, visit this family. You have revealed this in the name of Jesus. I cast this witchcraft. Let it leave your father never to return by the anointing of the Holy Spirit. Let it leave your father never to return by the anointing of the Holy Spirit. In the name of Jesus Christ, I pray. Madam, you believe Jesus will heal you? Yes, I do. You believe with all your heart? Yes. Madam, what's your situation? I have nail pains. Since Me. I, yeah, since I feel sick, they used to swell up. Since so I you... Since I was sick for six months, but he used to swell up. But now I can't walk with I'm walking with hearing sharp pain. Where? Where is the sharp pain? Okay, how about you? My leg is swollen for over five years now. Five years? I cannot stand for Where is which one is swollen? Oh, I see. You can't stand. I can't stand for long. For a long time. Mama, how about you? I'm not two months now. I started to Two, two months. Yes. What's happening? I have arthritis. You have arthritis. Yes. Who else? Who again? Have leg problem. Leg problem. All of you, I'm going to pray for you too. Your legs yes. swollen. Beat me last oh, you are the one who said something beat you. Ah, you are a worker in this place. Let's challenge that devil. She's a worker in this house. There is an immunity. Father, in the name of Jesus, I declare that this will never return to her again. In the name of Jesus Christ. Never return to her by the power of the Holy Spirit. I'm going to pray for you. And I want you to check yourselves after I pray for you. In the name of Jesus. Sister, five years your leg has been swollen. Permanently like that. Have you gone to the hospital? What did they tell you? Nothing was wrong. Eh? Nothing was wrong. Nothing is wrong. Because when a thing is spiritual, no matter what happens in the physical, you may not be able to get an equivalent, um, a, a something to be able to treat. But Father, in the name of Jesus, we cause witchcraft. This is the leg, right? In the name of Jesus Christ, I command freedom, freedom for your legs. In the name of Jesus, I break the power of witchcraft. Mama, I pray for you right now in the name of Jesus and by the power of the Holy Spirit. I pray for you right now every wicked spirit leaves you right now in the name of Jesus Christ lay your hands on your chest the Lord is bringing you deliverance right now in the name of Jesus this is witchcraft for five years I'm seeing a spirit go go in the name of Jesus you can't remain in her the swollen leg I command the swelling to go down in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus mama I pray for your leg in Jesus name I pray for your leg that's where the pain is just lay your hands there in the name of Jesus Christ I cause the pain by the power of the Holy Ghost in the name of Jesus Christ please check yourselves check yourselves check yourselves do what you couldn't do do what you couldn't do and tell me if there's any improvement how many of us came here either for ourselves or for our loved ones to be healed specifically in the area of healing let me just see your hands inside and outside can you just wave it to the Lord how many of you came here to be healed? Okay, very quickly, while the worship team leads us in a powerful worship session, want all the sick people to make their way right now. Just, just guide all the people that are under the anointing. Just shift them. Don't drag them around. Please, let's do that very quickly. Make your way out and just stand in a straight line and trust God for a miracle. Power 
of people right outside there is a long queue and we'll have to minister to these people it's not God's idea to have one superstar it's just that many people especially men of God are unwilling to press into the dimensions that bring them to the possibilities we are going to do this very very fast all of you who are sitting make sure you are connected and um, you are participating while we are ministering to the sick I want you to pass your prayer request ushers you can walk around please make sure all those outside even those on the roadside make sure that we receive their prayer request because i'll be laying hands on it immediately afterwards myself and pastor Jax will be ministering to you whatever your challenge is i want you to believe god while you're standing lift your voice and begin to say lord i will not return back with this sickness in the name of jesus christ thank you jesus thank you jesus father i stretch my hands over your people let your healing power the Lord is healing someone of pile. I'm seeing someone that has suffered pile for a long time. The Lord is healing you right now. You may be in the healing line, but the Lord is healing you right now. Hallelujah. Please make your way. Make your way. It doesn't matter who lays hands on you. There is a corporate anointing in this place. Hallelujah. Please, as soon as we lay hands on you, just go this way very quickly. There are people right to the back outside so that we'll hurry up. And there are still other things we need to do. Praise God. Go ahead. It doesn't matter what is wrong with you. Just a laying on of hands. The anointing of the spirit is like a drug. The moment it enters your body, it begins to work. And it brings you healing. You will notice that some people are standing for healing. But as soon as hands are laid on them, are coming out because they are the causes of these infirmities. Holy, holy, holy. Go out of her holy, now. Holy, holy. In the name of Jesus Christ. Holy, 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 holy. Holy, holy, holy. Holy, holy, holy Holy, holy, holy Holy, 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 holy
doesn't work, for how long? No, no, no. What's wrong? For how long? You were born like that. Just like that. Let's pray and watch what God will do. Hold my hands. Hold my hands. Can we hear it? If never, you could not walk by your own. You will fall. Are your legs strong enough? Lord Jesus, is this not why you died? Did he not help you? He came here believing you. You have made this place a place of healing and miracles. Look at the condition of this brother. The legs. Look at me. Leave him. Remove your hand from him. Look at me. Have you tried walking before? Huh? Lift your leg. Try lift it. Lift it. Lift the other one. Lift it. Lift it. You are mighty. Just stand behind him so in case he wants to fall, you hold him. Look at me. See, just look at me, not your legs. Look at me. Come. 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 Just come. Don't think of how it will happen. Come. 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 Come on, you celebrate are mighty Jesus. On your throne. Completely the legs can open. If you are yet to pass yours, please just do it quickly. Can we all rise? As many as can rise, please, inside and outside. It's a very prophetic moment right now. Jesus, my heart will sing. No other name. No other name. Jesus. 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 Those outside, can we have it quickly? No other name, Jesus, Jesus. Hallelujah. We just have five minutes to do this. Listen, I assure you, this is the place where God answers prayers. Hallelujah. I may not be able to minister to everyone individually, but I want you to know that this is a representation of your heart's desire. This is a representation of why you are here. And I'm going to lay my hands as, on as much as possible as a point of contact. All I want you to do is stretch your hands here and begin to receive answers to your prayer. Go ahead. Go ahead. Stretch your hands as I pray on this. Now God is greater. Our God is stronger. Just play the tune while we pray. Stretch your hands and receive. Lord we are praying please make sure you are praying outside stretch your hands towards the screen say Lord I receive it I receive it lift your hands and stretch your hands here and pray Pray from the depth of your heart.
Lord, let there be testimonies in the name of Jesus. Turn impossible situations into testimonies. Lord, we agree, we agree, we agree in the name of Jesus. Turn impossible situations to testimonies. Stretch your hands and keep receiving. I receive by faith. Come on, pray. All kinds of miracles by the anointing of the Holy Ghost. All kinds of miracles. Thank you for your grace. Thank you for your glory. Even as these prayer points, Lord, are lifted up to you, Lord. As your people look up to you, Lord. They look up to you, Lord, from whence their help cometh from my Father. I ask you, Lord, that you send angels, Lord. You send answers, my Father. I pray that God doors that are yet to be opened, be opened. My Father, I pray for healings, Lord. Healings or terminal cases, Lord, let it be turned. Lord, where people said, there's no way, my Father, we pray that doors, Lord, you create streams in wilderness places. My Father, Lord, for people that cast away, my Father, Lord, you make them renowned by the power of your spirit. We ask for your hand to rest upon your people. Lord, we ask that, Lord, miracles, miracles, Lord, will be given to your people. Answers to prayers, Lord, prayer points that have been pending for many years. We ask that, God, doors be open, Lord. Let miracles, Lord, flow into this house in the name of Jesus. Testimonies we are found in great ways, Lord. Unprecedented miracles. Lord, we pray in the name of Jesus. We ask for healings. We ask that, Lord, people that are insane, you cause them to be sane in the name of Jesus. We pray for contract that long delayed. Lord, we pray that, Lord, will be awarded by the power of your spirit in the name of Jesus. And we pray for a shield of protection over your saints, Lord. In the name of Jesus, we ask for a revitalization of spiritual lives by the power of your spirit. Let the fire of God call, come on cold altars in the name of Jesus. Let there be healings and touches in families in the blessed name of Jesus. We give you praise, we give you glory for the great and mighty things you will do amongst us, Lord. We give you praise, blessed Father, for we know all our prayers have been answered by the power of your spirit. We thank you. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. If you believe that your request has been turned into a testimony, I'd like you to shout a loud hallelujah. Shout a loud hallelujah. A loud hallelujah. A loud hallelujah. 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 For many of you, it will be like you are dreaming when you will watch one by one by one by one by one by one in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. It's by the anointing. It's not by English. Burdens are destroyed because of the anointing. Hallelujah. This last segment you've heard me say it again this is the most powerful and most impactful segment if you're not a man of the spirit you may not understand what i'm saying please help them this is the most powerful of this segment right now before we go into this where i begin to prophesy there are two dimensions to prophecy there is the revelatory dimension of prophecy that dimension of prophecy gives you direction but the stronger dimension of prophecy is the creative dimension. That's when things that are not become by the power of the spoken word. Never joke with the power of prophecy. That's the power that created the heavens and the earth. 
he said I prophesied as I was commanded before we do that very quickly everyone inside and outside there are people here tonight who are saying man of God I want to commit my life to the Lord I've seen the miracles I've seen the signs and wonders but my way is not right with the Lord you know that right now as you're standing here if the trumpet sounds you're not making heaven you know it right now having a Christian name is not the same as having a relationship with Jesus there are some you've given your heart to the Lord at one time please help the, uh, those under the anointing I tell you there will be a powerful impartation right now I sense a heavy anointing on me already that's why I'm doing this very quickly now if you are here please don't delay us you are saying I want to return home for whatever reason you found yourself living the ways of God and you are saying Lord I have heard your word and I'm not ashamed to make Jesus my Lord there are people in this auditorium young and old there are people by all the overflows right to the roadside no matter how far you are hearing my voice it should not be too far right now I'll just count one to five please run like you are running away from death run like there's fire on the mountain one inside and outside the devil is a liar tonight don't let any spirit stop you Tori. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Keep coming, God bless you. You have won it all for me. Hallelujah, hallelujah. You have won the victory. Sing hallelujah, hallelujah. You have won. Keep coming, keep coming. Please hurry up and catch up with us. So, so deep with you. So, deep with you. We give you the praise. Sasa give you joy. One more time. Sasa give you joy. Don't sit back there when you hear the voice of the Lord. Sasa give you joy. I appreciate every one of you for coming out this is the way to the cross listen no matter what you achieve in life if your eternal destiny is not secured it says this is the testimony that God has given us eternal life but he said this life is in his son until you have the son you do not have that life lift your right hand forget about who is looking at you and in the name of Jesus I want you to pray this prayer from the depth of your heart you are not reciting a poem it's not a special number this is a decision there's one of you here you smoke all these kinds of things it go and the rest huh? but as you pray this prayer the power is broken over your life say after me as loud as you can from the depth of your heart say lord jesus i love you with all my heart and with everything within me this night i make jesus lord of my life i repent of my sins i declare that eternal life comes into my spirit I am born again I'm a child of God from today the power of sin the power of the flesh is broken over me my past is gone and it's over forever I am a new creation in Christ in the name of Jesus the power of sin is broken over my life in the name of Jesus I receive of your life 
in jesus name i pray now i stretch my hands over you and i declare the power of sin is broken over your life in the name of jesus every yoke that has tied you down lets you go forever in the name of jesus i declare that is a new season for you everything that is a habit and a challenge in your life i release you from it right now every covenant and ordinance of darkness that is the foundation of your trouble by the blood of jesus it is wiped away i set you free i break you free from every wrong association that keeps you in sin in the name of jesus christ i pray hallelujah i want to congratulate all of you for making this decision this is the greatest decision you would ever make in your life hallelujah now very quickly so that you catch up with us in this prophetic session i want you to follow the gentlemen waving their hands they will have your details and then we'll follow you up very closely praise the lord just follow them koinonia celebrate them as they go all of you this way this way just follow the gentlemen now everybody rise please i want you to receive this prophetic word this is the seventh month and the bible says revive thy work in the midst of the years hallelujah there is a mystery with the seventh month is the time where god perfects all things as i prophesy to you please i want you to know that there is an anointing that makes it happen hallelujah listen listen don't, don't mind all that nonsense one way to conquer satan is to ignore him all of that rubbish uh, is is the devil works in the realm of the senses by the time you focus all your attention on this drama and these things you will waste your time i know you're trying as ushers just stand around satan does not have authority i want you to know that there is an anointing manifestations are already signs that his power is broken but satan knows that we walk in the realm of the flesh so he begins to act around your mind to distract you when you ignore satan is one way of conquering him it does not have the capacity to continue all of this nonsense are you getting my point so this is teaching you so that tomorrow you don't end up wasting your time with all this rubbish and all this drama praise the lord lift your hands i prophesied as i was commanded you are Yahweh you are seated on the throne you are Yahweh seated on the throne you are Yahweh you are seated on the throne father in the name of Jesus I'm praying right now by the ministry of angels are they not ministering spirits send to minister today that be the heirs of salvation I pray for you every weakness in your life that weakness dies tonight in the name of Jesus every weakness in your life that weakness leaves you tonight in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. I prophesy to you that Red Sea you are standing before by the anointing of the Holy Ghost in this second half of the year. An anointing comes upon you and I prophesy cross every Red Sea. Cross every Red Sea cross every red sea in the name of jesus christ i pray for every student here oh for there is a spirit in man and the inspiration make it men of understanding i'm praying for you some of you listen as i pray now some of you will literally feel like oil being poured upon your head is an impartation of knowledge right now oh god i release an anointing to change the story of students at the count of three let it fall right now one two three take it take it take it take it now 
take it now that anointing receive it for exploits shakatatata inside and outside take it for exploits 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 hallelujah everything called stagnation in your life that has forced you to stay in one position while you should be moving right now in the name of jesus and by the power of prophecy i command stagnation to end now 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 my goodness something is happening to your destiny every night season in your life every wilderness experience that has refused to break forth into the day i speak to you right now your morning arrives finally your morning arrives finally your morning arrives finally hallelujah there is something called favor i don't know if you know it but there is something called favor when the favor of god is upon a man your looks your background your qualifications no longer matter let an anointing of favor right now i see at least 100 people 100 people like fire hundred people right now receive it receive it favor 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 upon your life favor 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 parekete embratata lakata i prophesy by an apostolic anointing favor 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 everyone holding anything that should be given to you for the next level i don't care where they are but i sound an alarm in the spirit that in this month we're entering called august may that be the month where you receive the keys of the next level receive the keys of the next level the mysteries of the next level every spiritual blindness shababa things happen around you you cannot see Lord of spiritual vision I pray right now many of you will see like flashes of light as I'm praying right now you will see literally like flashes of light your eyes are opening right now right now right now right now right now by the power of the Holy Ghost blindness spiritual blindness spiritual blindness be free from it right now. Be free from it right now. Be free from it right now. Hallelujah. There are many of us here. Dreams and visions are prophetic channels where we get insight and direction. But for many of us, our dreams and visions have either been corrupted or it's no longer there. The Bible says they will dream dreams. It says they will see visions. Shakataba. Lift your hands. 
there will be an, a restoration anointing right now i just want you to shout i receive listen many things will happen to you many of you is an activation of the realm of dreams and visions where god will start showing you the blueprint for the next level right now in the name of jesus at the count of three as you shout i receive let there be an impartation upon your dream life upon spiritual visions one two three now you receive it receive it restoration of fire fire dream dreams see visions dream dreams see visions dream dreams see visions dream dreams hallelujah it says what do you have in your house and she said nothing except a jar of oil i want to prophesy upon your gift it's one thing to be gifted but it's another thing for your gift to be anointed there are many of you the gift you have can bring bread to your table but nobody is seeing it it's one thing to be gifted it's one thing to be skilled but it's another thing for your gift to be anointed thou anointed my head with oil and it makes my cup to overflow i prophesy to you whatever has covered your gift whatever has made your gift barren right now in the name of jesus i anoint your gift now i anoint your skill now i anoint your gift now creativity creativity i release it i release that anointing creativity skill expertise competence proficiency in the name of jesus christ listen anybody who has said it's not your time to manifest that you always remain on the background you clap for others but you are not cursed it's god's desire that every man will also come to the lamb light i pray for you whatever has kept you behind right now in the name of jesus i command let the light be on you let the light of glory be on you. Hallelujah. Everything you have tried by your strength to do and you have been unable to do throughout half of this year, you have tried by your strength. I'm releasing grace upon your life right now. Go back to that same thing and watch how God will bless you through it. I pray for every ministry here from glory to glory every church represented from honor to honor new dimensions of the anointing in the name of Jesus Christ every business here is time to shine come on every business here I strengthen your hand arise and shine arise and shine arise and shine arise and shine Lift your hands. One last prayer. Listen. I want to activate the gift of the Spirit. Without the gift of the Spirit upon your life, your life will be barren and unfruitful. It says, For I long to see you that I may impart upon you some spiritual gift to the end that ye be established. I pray for you. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ that the Lord himself something is about to happen to your life right now as I speak father I come under this apostolic anointing right now across the length and breadth 
in this auditorium and outside at the count of three let there be an activation of spiritual gifts one two three take it take it gift of healing word of knowledge gift of prophecy 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 I activate the prophetic I open your eyes spiritual gifts endowments of the spirit I declare that you are supernatural beginning from tonight in the name of Jesus everywhere you go you are supernatural let the anointing upon this house follow you like a shadow I prophesy to you every anointing that is upon this house from today let it follow you like a shadow whatever the anointing has brought to this house let it bring it to your life hallelujah lift your hands and give him praise father we give you all the praise I assure you you will know that this miracle service was unusual you will know many of you right from this night tomorrow will not reach you start having your testimonies right from this night right from this night favor alerts calls i mean connections mysterious happenings i speak to the spiritual borders of your destiny and in the name of jesus i command that every gate that has been closed the bible says your gate shall be continually open so you have a gate your gate shall be continually open to receive the forces of the gentiles i pray for you in the name that is above all names let everything in your life start working for you i command the earth to work for you i command the wind to work for you I command the stars to work for you everything that is a disappointment in your life I change it tonight to a testimony Hallelujah. if you're worshiping with us for the first time keep standing everybody there are many people outside let me speak upon your life personally wherever you are please make your way to the front quickly we have one minute to do this god bless you this is your first time you are most welcome there is a prophecy for you you must carry a signature no stand up keep standing everybody must know you came for koinonia hallelujah listen when you come here we may not give you hampers but we give you an identity you will go back with it and everyone will know. Hello. Scriptures exhort us from the book of Proverbs. It says, My son, attend to my sins. Incline thy ears to my words. Let them not depart from thy eyes and keep them in the midst of thee. As you have listened to this message, we believe that you are going to reap the blessings thereof if you attend to these words as well that you will keep these words in the midst of your heart that no matter the circumstance your eyes are going to be fixed on these words and as you have been blessed we will tell you to share this message be an evangelist by sharing to others to be blessed and then subscribe to this channel for us because we have loads of videos we have loads of content that is going to make you blessed that is going to set you on course that is going to set you ablaze and don't forget to like for us 
Thank you.